I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands with one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Chief Duaga Central. I'm Joshua. And I'm David. Today's Monday, May 2nd, and it is AP Day. Remember, folks, AP exams are this week. Today is AP Gov at 8 and AP Chem at 12. Wednesday morning is AP Lit at 8, and Friday is A Push in the morning. Next week is Bio and U.S. World. Good luck to those taking these exams. We'd like to wish a happy birthday to Sierra Stewart, Joshua Coons, and Brynth Ramos. On this day in 1933, the Loch Ness Monster was first sighted. Remember, Triad members, there will be a short but very important mandatory meeting Thursday after school in the Odd to go over the induction ceremony and ushering the May concerts. And attention all current National Honor Society members, not new inductees. There will be a meeting this Thursday right after school in D259. Library is closed today, folks, as there will be AP exams in that location throughout the day. And that's all for local. Let's see what's for lunch. Today for lunch we have giant soft taco with diced peaches, mixed veggies, and, and milk. Right. Good morning, Chief Dwaga Central again. I am David, and this is Josh with the Everyday Sports. On Friday, the Chitawaga Lady Warriors extended their unbeaten streak to seven with an 11 to seven win over East Aurora. Leading the way for the Lady Warriors was Adriana Duval with a 4 for 4 performance consisting of two doubles and two singles and was also responsible for four RBIs. Also leading the way offensively were Daviana Anthony, Aubrey Duval, and Alexis Falcaro, each going two for four. Gracie Amonti garnered the defensive player of the game with some outstanding fielding gems. It was a family affair on the pitching circle as Aubrey Duval started on the mound for Chituaga and picked up the win while her sister Adriana picked up the save by throwing three scoreless innings in relief. Um, the Chituaga Lady Warriors softball team played two games on Saturday as they hosted their own invitational tournament on Saturday. In the opening game, they defeated Attica by a score of 14-2. Uh, Aubrey Duval went 2-4 for four with 1 RBI. Ava, Ava Durendo went 1-2. for two, And Ladeja Leak went 1-2 for two with 1 RBI. And scored 4 runs as the Warriors were able to, empty, able to empty their bench. Aubrey Duval gave up 1 earned run and pitching a great game as she dominated the Attica hitters. After giving up 3 hits in the first inning, she gave up only one the rest of the way as she retired 15 of 17 batters. In the championship game, the Lady Warriors scored off against Sweet Home. The Warriors appeared to have expelled all their energy in the first game as they only generated three hits in a 14-3 loss. Daviana Anthony had a home run in the loss. Olivia Falcaro and Aubrey Duval also got, the, got two hits. Come out and support your Warriors at home this week. Uh, we wanted to remind everyone that today is Unified Basketball Basketball home opener versus Star Point at 5 p.m. Teacher appreciation celebration starts at 4.40. And softball and tennis will also play this afternoon. And tomorrow, track is at 5 p.m. On Wednesday, softball at 5 p.m. Thursday, uh, softball at 5 p.m. Friday, baseball at 5.15. And Saturday, baseball at 10 a.m. Enjoy your day, Central. <laughs>